Korean people in a limited space with limited resources. As we are fast approaching a population breakpoint, every aspect in our life needs to adopt a sustainable approach, where development does not compromise environmental health. One key aspect in all of this is infrastructure. My chemistry class has worked on a project where we apply a natural, low-cost, and local material. The seemingly useless mud from the ground to be exact onto the walls of the classroom. This project involves several stakeholders, including students and admin, as well as academics and business people. Taiwan, where I'm from, is an island nation where the high humidity can make summers unbearably hot and sticky and winters incredibly chilly. Now, this mud we applied acts as a natural dehumidifier, which absorbs excess moisture and retains it, leaving the room to be dry and cool. This project is an example of how high school students like me can make a real difference. By lowering the humidity, we are decreasing the rates we need to turn on the air conditioner and the heater, thus reducing our carbon footprint. Moreover, we are improving students' health because bacteria and germs can thrive in ventilation systems. Simply put, the mud we applied offers a healthier learning environment for students. In this project, where economic investments social welfare, and environmental health reach a balance point without compromising future usage. That is a sustainable future, and that is what we must all work towards as global citizens. Thank you.